What's going on YouTube, one on the XRM here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's comparison video. It is crazy hot, crazy bright, all the sweat, it's gross. But we got the Brutale right here and the Street Fighter. Really gonna ride the Brutale, talk about how it feels and then again compare it to the Street Fighter because to me, they're both completely different animals. If you want a full on review of the Brutale 1000RR, I did a very in-depth one with the Brutale Siri Aura, which is a very rare uh, version of the Brutale. And I go over the dash and all the little electronics within it. Check that out. I put that link in the description and I'll put it up here or somewhere in the video. But the electronics that are on this are really cool. The dash, I think, looks better than the Ducati. The Ducati is very simplistic, which is also nice, but I think this one's got a little style to it. It's got a little character. And again, I've, I've mentioned that before in Italian bikes is they just have a certain character to them, a soul to them. Hate it as much as you want, but it's there. Being an inline four, it's not boring. It's not like the S1000R to me, which is crazy fast and amazing at everything, but somehow boring. This, I get off it and I turn around and go, wow, holy crap, that's awesome. What does it feel like? This is the most angry inline four I've ever ridden. Why I say it's the most angry inline four is because like this V4, it doesn't like certain rev ranges, like 3000 RPMs on a twin or a V4 like the Ducatis, it really hated it. It always wanted to go and lurch. This inline four is literally the same way. It wanted to lurch, it wanted to keep going. This is just a very fire breathing motor that has to be revved. Or sort of to go along with that as a quick shifter. I think the Ducati quick shifter is much more smooth, much more refined. The Brutale quick shifter requires some effort. So you know you're not, you're going into the gear you wanna go in, which it's good and bad. I think it's very smooth once it does transition, but you really need to be in the revs or out of the revs for it to work the best. So if you're going from fifth to fourth and you're in low revs trying to shift down, it's gonna be clunky and vice versa. So the Brutale really needs those revs for that quick shifter to work as flawlessly as it can. I wanna talk about the riding a little bit on both these bikes. The positions are a little bit different. The Street Fighter is a little more upright. It's a little more comfortable. The stock seat's also wildly more comfortable. And the handlebar, the clip ones are, again, a little more high up. You have a little bit more upright position. The Brutale is definitely more, I just wanna say, cafe race, cafe racer style, where you're definitely more lean forward, where you're here. So this is definitely more of an aggressive riding position than what the Street Fighter is. Do you see the difference here? Much more relaxed. The handling characteristics of the Brutale are definitely very different than the Ducati. The Ducati feels a little heavy. It takes a little bit of effort to turn in, but it's, it does it very easily still. And you can feel the heft, but it, it controls it and handles itself uh, to the point where it's very confidence inspiring. The Brutale at slow speeds, I feel the the head's a little light, the steering feels incredibly light. Uh, that makes it decent for, you know, slow speed maneuvering, but at the same time, I like a little more weight in the steering. Where that shines though, is when you start to actually push it through the twisties, this thing feels and, and just leans over so incredibly easily. The front feels very intuitive. I, the first time I rode it, I thought it felt a little light and I didn't like how much your inputs would quickly translate to the road. But as I spent a little time with it, I start to really like how that is. It's sort of telepathic in a sense. And I really enjoy that. I think for a bike like this, you're expecting it to be a little more calm. It is not, it is very revved up. It might as well have full fairings and be a monster super bike. All right, so let's get the subjective part of this video out of the way, the looks. Which one of these bikes do I think looks better? To me, it's, it's the MV Augusta. It's the most beautiful machine comparably to this Street Fighter, really any of the other naked bikes. When I saw the Ducati Street Fighter, I was unsure about the looks. I thought it kind of looked a little silly. I even made the point of looking like Mr. Burns' profile shot, but the Brutale, I come to it and you're just like, whew. and you just look at it. You just look at all the angles that it has. You look at the carbon fiber, you look at the way the winglets are part of the, bodywork, the back end, 
it's sort of subjective whether you like it or not. I, at first, didn't like it. The more you look at it, the more you realize it works with the angles of the bike. I really dig the overall aesthetics. The seat's more comfortable. The Brutale seat is very, very hard. But what's interesting about that is, even though it's hard, it's not really uncomfortable. It actually, it'll let you sink just a smidge and then it just kind of holds you. Would it be something that I could ride longer than this? No. Now this is definitely gonna be more on the shoulders, more on the wrists, and definitely a little less comforting on the bum. To go along with the most angry inline four is the exhaust note. For its very stock exhaust, it sounds incredible. <laughs> It's, it's very angry. It's high revving. When you put a, a actual race exhaust on it, it just it just sounds so pissed off. Granted, the Acro on the Ducati, it's got that Ducati drone. It sounds great to me. I love the noise that comes from that. But this inline four, it it doesn't sound like most other ones. The next piece of kit I want to talk about are the brakes. Both these have incredible Brembo systems. I think both these brakes are phenomenal. One downside that Envy Augusta has is their rear brakes almost always need to be bled on a regular basis. Ducati is not far off, so <laughs> you could argue one way or the other. I just found Envy's are a little more suspect to it, whereas Ducati isn't. But I tell you what, these brakes are phenomenal. I love them. Again, same Brembo's, so they're just monsters. Well, <laughs> that's it. Um, I made it through here without completely sweating all of the fluids out of me, but it is, <laughs> it's a heck of a day to ride the Brutale, really get to experience it through some twisties, slow speed, fast speed, and it it really shines. I love this Ducati, is not going anywhere. It's a constant rider. I've mentioned to other people, the Brutale is a fantastic number two bike because it's stunning. You take it to a bike meet, people are gonna look at it. You can go to the track and it's going to be crazy fast. And when you actually go on a cruise, you feel special riding it. And to me, that's what motorcycling is about. When I hop on my bike, do I feel special riding it? And the Street Fighter, absolutely. And this, even more so. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like this content, please subscribe. Definitely use some more of those. But with that, you all have a good one. I'm gonna go inside, get some water. I'm out of here. <laughs>